What is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lions Den located in Colmar, PA. And in this video, I'm back. So let's get to it. So as you guys know, I took a little bit of a hiatus from YouTube and social media about a month or a little bit over a month. And it was really needed for me to kind of just recharge and get back after it. So I want to just kind of explain why I left, what I've been doing, what I've been up to. And then we're going to start kicking off all the new YouTube videos uh, with great content, collaborations, all sorts of awesome stuff that we have planned out in the future. So first off, why did I leave? Well, honestly, I was crazy busy with a lot of things going on in my life, and I've talked about it on social media a little bit on YouTube, but I actually have been coaching high school lacrosse uh, for Soderton High School, which is a local high school in my area. Now, I grew up playing lacrosse. I got a scholarship to play lacrosse in college, and it's something, honestly, when I was done that I never thought I'd get back into. However, uh, one of my buddies reached out to me and kind of wanted me included for the strength and conditioning for the high school. And I absolutely fell in love with working with the kids right away. And I keep saying this, but it was something I didn't know I needed until I got. Uh, and it's something I'll probably do the rest of my life for as long as I'm able to, because it's just such a great way to give back, be a mentor, uh, get the best out of the athletes and the kids. And it just makes me happy. Let's go! So I've been really enjoying it, uh, but what I didn't realize is the time commitment that it was really going to be. So I coach uh, JV lacrosse, and then I also help out with varsity as well. So every time we play, I'm with the JV and I'm with the varsity guys. Uh, so that's minimally going to be practice, uh, and then we have lots of games. There's lots of games throughout the week. So just being a coach, if you've been a coach before, you understand how much of a time commitment it truly is. But absolutely rewarding. Now, when I go into something, I want to go completely all in and immerse myself. So with that, it kind of just seemed like a nice time to pull back on some other things and allow myself to kind of recharge uh, when it came to the social media, which is kind of my second point. I've been making YouTube videos for about 10 years now, right? I've put over a thousand videos on YouTube, thousands of posts on Instagram, and lots of stuff on all their social media platforms. So whenever you're a content creator, it's tough to always have those juices flowing all the time. It's almost like that example when you have to be on demand to be funny, right? Or be entertaining or be this or be that. And there does come a lot of pressure with it, whether we want to uh, admit it or not. So by me doing this for so long, I just kind of realized that with the things going on, it was a perfect time for me to kind of take a break and just reset and recharge. There's no other reason other than I wanted to bring the best content forward. I felt like I personally just needed some time to regroup myself, come up with some new creative and fresh ideas, and then be able to deliver them when I came back. So that was kind of my, my second reason, was just to get a breath of fresh air. Now the third one was gonna be uh, finding out the status of my bicep. So as you guys know from my last video, I had a bicep tear, and after, you know, my first bicep injury, I didn't really know kind of what was going on. I was pretty down in the dumps about things. I'm not going to lie. Like it was, it was like I said in my other video, just a kick in the nuts. Uh, so I wanted to take some time to figure out what was the status. You know, did I need surgery? Did I not need surgery? So got the MRI, talked to the doctor, all that good stuff. And basically where the tear was, uh, since it was a proximal bicep tear. So up top, the first one was a distal, the Outcome would have been basically the same if I got surgery or didn't get surgery. It would have healed and recovered the same if I let it heal on my own or if I got operated on. And to be honest with you, I didn't want to go through the whole surgical process again. Uh, so I chose not to get the surgery. So I've been healing it on my own by doing a lot of the things I talk about when it comes to injury on my YouTube channel and also just doing exercises to help strengthen all those ligaments, tendons, muscles uh, for my arms specifically. I think Right now, it's in a really good position. It's getting stronger. It's very healthy. Uh, and I'm just, you know, doing the best I can to push through it. And it was kind of the best of the worst case scenario. So that's kind of the status of my bicep right now. And I'm hoping to uh, keep strengthening it and come back even stronger than I was before. Um, and for all the people on the internet who just sent me well wishes, I really appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. 
and it really did mean a lot to my heart uh, to hear all those well wishes and comments um, and you guys being positive. I, I really enjoy that stuff and it's great to see that positive energy. And it really was just a freak thing. Um, my bicep felt great and unfortunately, you know, things happen. So I just gotta be who I portray. I gotta figure out the solution to the problem. I gotta adapt and I gotta execute. Now kind of the last pillar that I wanna talk about in this video is where things are heading. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering, am I gonna compete, am I not gonna compete, what's my training looking like, et cetera. And to be honest with you, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna compete or not, uh, probably down the road at some point, but right now what I'm focused on is just being healthy. I wanna build that base, I wanna work on my weaknesses, I wanna just feel good and perform and move well. So those are kinda of like the things that I keep thinking about. And it's kinda of funny because being a lacrosse coach, uh, running around with these kids, you know, being a 265 pound, you know, meathead basically, I, I kind of miss feeling more athletic. I, I want to be able to run around with the kids and, and have, you know, that, that athleticism that I used to have. So that was kind of a wake up call for me. So when it comes to programming moving forward, yes, I'm still going to do compound lifts. Uh, but at the same time, I'm going to be working on my weaknesses. I'm going to be doing more conditioning. I'm going to be throwing in some more athletic movements in there. And I think you guys will really enjoy that because I think when it came down to the goals that I had, uh, a lot of you guys have similar goals. So when we are doing the videos and the content, you guys will get an idea of how I program or how I'm going to add more athletic movements into my current training or what my programming uh, looks like. And you guys will be able to follow along and input that stuff into your own training. So very excited uh, you know, on what's to come with that. I'm trying to schedule out collaborations basically every single month. So there's always some sort of big collaboration going on at some point during the month. So you can always expect that you'll have my regular content, but then also a, co a collaboration with you know, people in the industry that I really admire and respect and have a you know, good time working with. So uh, I'm very excited about that and just kind of getting a really good schedule and routine down. Uh, something for me that I need to personally work on is just structuring things a little bit better because I do manage a lot of different things. There's, there's my brick and mortar business, there's my online business, uh, and just everything else going on in my life, coaching, et cetera, family, whatever. You guys can imagine, there's a lot. So by structuring that, you know, I'm gonna be able to deliver consistent, good content, and I'm just really excited to be back. The last thing that I wanted to talk about that I also kind of took a break from social media is I had other projects to do. One of my biggest projects was launching the Zat Strength training app. So the training app is uh, an app that you will have all my programs on. So if you guys had purchased something from ZatStrength.net, I basically went through those programs, uh, adjusted them or made some tweaks and adjustments to them and then put them on the app. And I also am putting out tons of new programs each and every month, uh, kind of on a weekly basis right now. One of the ones that I just put out is a train with me. So you guys can go on the app and literally do my program uh, real time with me. And then we have our private Facebook group to anybody who subscribes and you guys will be able to talk amongst each other with myself. I do live Q and A's, I do form checks, I explain the programs, I answer your questions, all that good stuff. And we're really trying to build a strong community for those subscribers because I really appreciate you guys wanting to do the app. Um, now when it comes to the app, there's a ton of great features. You know, you have your RPE or percentage based charts. You can collect all of your workout data on there. You can do before and after pictures. You have nutritional logging. Uh, you have a stress management calculator to kind of see the red flags of maybe you're training too hard or maybe you're not training enough and kind of see where your body's at. You have exercise demos of all of the exercises that are in there. Uh, and then you literally put in your, your calendar the program that you want to do when you want to start and you can feel free to switch out that program whenever you want or start a new program um, you know whatever that fits your goals so very very pumped about that it took a lot of hard work a, a lot of time to put that all together uh, but i'm really proud of the overall product and i know you guys are going to like it we have a lot of subscribers so far and we would love for you guys to join the team so all you got to do for that is just go to zatstrength.programs.app uh, and you can get set up. So please check that out if you're interested. If not, you can still buy the programs a la carte from zatstrength.net, but for a monthly subscription fee, you get all the programs access to, and that's years of programs if you wanted to actually structure it that way. And then the one that I'm doing right now, the train with me is actually gonna be a whole year worth of programming that I do personally. And I get that question all the time. You know, what kind of programming do you guys do? Uh, how can I train like you, et cetera? And now we kind of have the solution to that problem. So 
I really appreciate you guys check that out. I'm really proud of it. You know, I wouldn't plug something I'm not proud of. And obviously all the support means a lot to me and my team. Uh, so thank you guys so much. That's all we got guys. But as you guys know, stay lean means strength machine. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're watched to this point. And I appreciate your support as always. So let's get back after it. Peace.